Fresh from his court victory yesterday, Jose Baez tells Western News he's planning to take a number of key depositions next week. At the top of that list is Casey Anthony's friend, Amy Huizenga. West News' Bob Keeling joins us live from the newsroom. And Bob, Huizenga has told investigators a lot of things that are potentially damaging to Casey's defense. Yeah, Jim, she has provided key details about Casey's attempts to explain that smell that she had in her car and Casey's apparently carefree party lifestyle at the same time she told investigators she was out looking for Kaylee on her own. No child. No child. During the weeks after Kaylee Anthony was last seen and before she was reported missing to police, Casey often confided in a friend named Amy Huizenga. It smells like something died in my car. In an audio taped interview with investigators, Huizenga gave details of what detectives believe was Casey's cover story to explain the smell in her car. On June 27th, around the time investigators believe Casey dumped Kaylee's body, she sent a text message to Huizenga saying the smell was a dead animal. There's definitely a part of an animal plastered in the frame of my car, which was the end of the mystery. She told me that she had you know, gotten rid of it and I never heard anything about a smell again. The first week of July, Casey stayed with Huizenga, getting a tattoo, always having an explanation for why Kaylee wasn't around, and going out partying. Only one family issue made her visibly upset. She got upset, said her brother was coming to look for her, and that they had to leave. Huizenga says Cindy confronted Casey about her partying, a feud that prosecutors believe was Casey's motive for murder. She thought Casey was an unfit mother and that if this goes on much longer, that she would sue for custody of Kaylee if it got to that. Nabayas says he also plans to finish deposing Orange County Deputy Richard Kane. You may remember he's the officer who may have missed the opportunity to find Kaylee's remains back in August. Now, all new at 6 o'clock, we're going to look at the changing role of Cindy Anthony in this case and why she's emerging as a key to the state's theory of motive. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Bob Keeling, West 2 News. Bob, thanks. A private investigator who at one time did volunteer security work for the Anthony family says... ABC News paid $225,000 to Casey's Defense Fund for pictures and video of Kaylee. That revelation came yesterday during an interview with James Hoover, a private investigator who did security work at the Anthony home. Hoover gave a sworn deposition in the Zenaida Gonzalez civil suit. Attorney John Morgan is the one asking the questions. And was it $200,000? Is that the number you heard? Two hundred or two twenty-five. I heard both numbers. Was paid to Jose Baez by ABC News. Mm, yes, sir. Hoover also said ABC paid for three rooms at the Ritz-Carlton for the Anthonys when they returned from California the week that Kaylee's remains were found. Baez has confirmed his team sold pictures and video, but would not confirm to whom or for what specific amount. To see more on the case against Casey, log on to WESH.com.